Hey, what's up everybody? The Big Sus here. Welcome back to Dark Souls 3. In the last part, we explored the rest of Lothric's walls and made it to this chapel looking place where we met Queenie Lothric and I was just chilling with her right now. She gave us... Excuse me. Sorry, that had to come out. <laughs> we, uh, she gave us the banner and the Blue Sentinel's Covenant. And I equipped the Blue Sentinels because why not? We freed G G Gear Greerat. I forget his name. And he gave us a blue tearstone ring to give to his uh, woman named Loretta in the Undead Settlement. And that is the next location we are currently going to. And all you have to do is go straight ahead if you're in there with me. If you notice, I have three flasks is because I ran back to a bonfire to sort of heal up, but you know, I ran into trouble getting there. And there's still quite a bit of enemies, not that many items. And these are all like people that are barely started. Except Swordmaster. If you kill him from the beginning, then he's here. That dude that kicked off, yeah, you get someone to help you fight. And all these two other guys are NPCs. Not, uh, real time people, not just NPCs, NPCs. <sighs> but yeah, if you're ready, uh, I finished everything uh, so far. Because I got everything. But you're probably like, wait, what about the, the one item? Uh, I went back and got it. Uh, <laughs> it didn't capture it the first time, but yeah, I'll show you how to get up there. Oh, 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 God, uh. I should take another sip. Just in the case. But they can shoot in, so be careful. Well, they can't walk in, but they can still shoot. Alright, guys, if you're ready, go to this root tree door thing. Here we go, boys. Second boss. Well, technically the first boss. If you don't count Gundyr as the first boss. But I can say this is the second boss of the game. Because Gundyr was awesome. But this is the Ice Warrior of the Wall. Oh, boy. Here we go. This is Bort of the Boreal Valley. He's an ice, uh, he's an ice, um, an ice warrior, and ice is weak to lightning. So that's how if you get lightning pointers and you just beat him to death. Let's see? Ah. Remember, don't get too cocky. Play it safe. And remember the second form, because all bosses have the second form. That make them way deadly. Oh. Oh, let me get the tits. Get behind him when he does his ice beam, and that is it, guys. That was Vort of the Boreal Valley. And if you're saying, well, golly, that guy was easy, well, I am level 19 already. Level 19 with the Claymore plus two Lightning Pinerism. Yeah. He, he he's a goner light the bonfire you don't have to rest in it you can just keep going forward unless you want you know health but it's, it doesn't matter there's a bonfire up ahead bonfires of the game are too close see raise banner but if you don't have the banner you have to go across and back to the old lady if you haven't already but that is the undead settlement guys that is the next area we're going to and then after that I think I think it's this forest right there. 
yeah that forest because those three towers are important and that's another area and then I don't know where else but raise banner <clears throat> yeah black screen took forever so cut that out <laughs> hey there I am pink pink purple what, what, what are, is that maroon yeah right Ah. Hey. Cause I don't know what the banner like says like I'm the chosen one or like take me to my death or something. I don't know what what it said. But yeah, they take us to the settlement. There is a couple of strong enemies here and a lot of items. So if you're ready, prepare to take like I think <laughs> this is gonna take like two parts. To explore this whole thing, maybe. Unless I rush through it. But light the bonfire. And then there's nothing over there. So you can go down. There is a bunch of skeleton men praying, but one of the workers from inside the settlement opened the gate and dogs come out. And they feast on their souls. They're just dogs, so you don't have to worry. There's a couple of you here, too. Look at them. Yeah! Okay. Uh, pine rays, I'm gonna take it off. And... Stop this. Yeah, pine rays, and just use if you have to, because those things are uh, rare right now. Please. Grant me death. Undo my shackles. <laughs> yes. If you remember from the be <coughs> if you remember from the beginning, uh, these are all some kind of priest, I think. A dead dragon right there. I never noticed that. Uh, they were all there going to the castle for some reason, and all these guys are dead except this one. He was not granted oh. death for some reason. Oh, then it's true. I think the dragon champion of ash, as I live and breathe. To be in your presence is a great honor. I am Yol of Londor, a pilgrim, as you can see, only pilgrims. Okay. Somehow I failed to die as was ordained. Well, perhaps my calling <laughs> lies. How do you feel to die? Say, champion of ash. How does the idea of taking me into your service strike you? I okay, was once a depending on I can be of your use of sorceries and what ending you want, you want his services. Oh, but no matter who it is, I always accept. Swear and I don't, I don't even decide what ending I was going to get because there's like five different endings. There's a good ending, uh, the ending that's you get just for beating the game there's a secret ending and then there's the bad ending but it's just like it, it depends on how you think of it because if you think it's the bad ending the game might say no this is the good one you know but he is used he is a main character in the so called good ending of Dark Souls I believe so yeah if you want to save them or accept the services go ahead you know like I did oh yeah go for that giant because if you don't run to that tower which is difficult to do because you have to go through this whole map basically and talk to him he will start shooting arrows at you when we try to get to the boss room so <laughs> you have been warned and don't jump off if it says on your screen treasure here. Don't do it uh, Some people did that uh, To one of my friends and he <laughs> he fell and died. So don't do it. Please. I'm protecting y'all <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna head back to the shrine All right, oh crap, and there's the thing I forgot to show you I, I'm I'm dumb. Sorry 
is this. This is the ring that you get from that jump that all of a sudden Dio like uses uh, his stand on me for some reason. But this just saves your souls, but the ring breaks. So. Ah, it's if you, you know. If you know you're about to die, put that on and see you have your souls. Alright, here's Gree Rat. Oh, hello, you're back. And in one piece. Well, now it's time yep, I get up in a little part. shop right here. He has all of his sacks, what teapots, and everything. What you need? Speak up. Just don't ask me where I got them. He's a, he's a pillager. So, sell and I have nothing. Do not, do not sell or use the boss souls. They are used in a little bit. Don't sell or use them. Goodbye. You've been warned again. <laughs> Take all my warnings, please. Do it. Oh, and uh, what's his face? This dude we just saved is in here. You, you either come through the, under the stairs, or you can go to where. Gray Rat is, and then go down the hallway. He's here. Oh, our champion you can buy sorceries Welcome, and oh. draw out strength. This pilgrim with a debt in debt. Drawing strength to this makes you flame. Uh, become ho become hollow. So every time you die, your skin gets all wrinkly and you start decaying. Thank you. So <laughs> you look ugly. But, you know, you get upgrade points. But it's every couple times you die, you get, like, another upgrade point. But I just want to upgrade. You know. Why not get a free upgrade point? And I'm telling you, I'm not going to try to die that much. I'm going to try to stay as alive as I can. Alright, well, that's all I think. Oh, no, I can level up with the lady here. Babe. There you are. Welcome, speak very well. Uh, I go with health. Yeah, increases my HP and defense, so that's good. Farewell, Ashen One, made of flint. Yeah, I don't know what that static was, but you can do emotes and she'll react to them. <laughs> it's amazing. Do all kinds of different ones, see what the results are. But anyways, time to head back. To I think it's the very first bonfire we lit there. Oh no, whoops, I forgot about that one. <laughs> okay, so back in here, everybody respawns, so they respawn there. And if you move closer to him, he opens the gate and starts walking towards you. Don't know why, but you want to go this way. Don't go over there. That is death. Keep going forward through the doors. All kinds of villagers. These guys have melee weapons, you know, the pitchforks long range, but they have no health, and you can just bump into them. Easy stun. And there are workers with firebombs, but they're exact same. There is a bunch of different enemies, but, you know, we'll see them when we get to them. Right now, oh, these guys, I was about to talk about, to talk about them. These are baby garrets, green rats, whatever. They're just decayed thieves. Fast, not so strong. Okay. I think there's a worker over here. Yeah. Okay. Repair powder, repairs your weapon. Oh we got we got his plow. Wow. Okay, this body, you wanna knock it down. Why? You probably already know uh, what that thing is, the item. Charcoal pine bundle. Bundles are weaker than resins. I'll get this because there's gray rats everywhere in here. Okay, I'm good. The bundles are weaker than resins. Resins last for a couple minutes. Bundles are like 20 seconds. But they apply really quickly. So you want to have a bow on you. Where are you? Oh my gosh. You, you rat. Oh my god. You are annoying. Okay. I don't have fire bombs, do I? I got the black ones. Uh, don't use black fire bombs. Or should I use them? I'm just going to equip them. Okay. 
Yeah, and then Loretta's bone. Loretta has been dead for who knows how long. But you know, Garrett was in jail. So I, was supposed to know. See? I did not want to use black bombs because a normal firebomb would work. But I don't have any. Oh, there's some. <laughs> Just my luck. Even though my luck is like, what, seven? Your catch. Drag out! Unless you have pyromancy, you could just shoot a fireball at this barrel. But I don't get pyromancies till later on. Right now, I'm just gonna be working on damage output. Ah, this lady. Okay, she is. I don't know. She, I don't know what she is, but she shoots that little spell at you that causes bleeding, charges at you for some reason, and it tries to grab you and touch you and your bad spots. To burn you and kill you probably instantly. I don't know how much damage she does to us right now. If she grabs us. But I thought she was way harder. I don't know, I think it's a claymore. Like I'm not lying, I think it's a What am I backstab animation? I think it's a claymore. The claymore is just really powerful. Fire gems put fire on a weapon. You just gotta take it back to the blacksmith. Another S shard? Okay, now we have six. And there's a key we could buy for 20,000 souls. Uh, I don't remember if I saw checked at the store. But it's for the tower in the back of the fire link. And so, not really items, items that we want. But they're kind of something you need for like one of the endings. And or you just want whatever's in there. I know there's a couple of like, you know, like, um, shards and whatnot. I'm gonna go through there regardless, but I'm just telling you. Yeah. Try to take as least, uh, try to take less as... <sighs> try to take as much damage, okay? That's what I was trying to say. Take too much damage, you're gonna get destroyed. And, you know... Who knows if you got enough health. But there's the bomb guy. Really annoying. What's this? Try jumping off. Don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. First question. First question. Why? Why would you listen to online people? If you're playing offline, you would not see those. So if you're an offline person, don't worry. You don't have to, you don't know the struggles of being tempted, beginning of this, uh, beginning of Dark Souls game. Cause I don't know if people did that in the first one. And I was like, really? I never played before, so I didn't know. And I just go and jump off and die. <laughs> I was let's just say I was upset. That's this is a secret. Go through secret. This three might when you're throwing knives. <sighs> Are you kidding me? How do you reach me with an axe? I can't hit you with a sword. Oh, this is ridiculous. Really? This is ridiculous. They're shooting me with little pipes. They have little darts and they're taking so much health away. You're annoying. Uh, I think you just walk, but I'm just gonna jump over there. Hi. What was that? What was that? Oh my gosh. Why oh, you just fall off? Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It ain't fun until you get uh uh was it bone bone shards? 
I don't remember what they're called, but they they increase the amount of health we get. So anyway, there's nothing but items here, and just fall down right here. No, do not hit this guy. That sound. Hmm. Don't hit this guy. And you can't get the item either. Just, just examine his, his back. All of a sudden, this dude just like, yeah, hop in, man. Screen goes black, and then we just end up in like another reality. <coughs> oh God. <coughs> uh, that water's supposed to save my body from killing me. Told you I'm dying. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how, but all of a sudden we end up in this pit. It looks like a bunch of other people dropped in here too and just died because there's there was there was cages all over here. But all you want to do is just go talk to this guy down here. And if you accepted um what's his face? If you accepted uh the draw to strength well, Technically, you're hollow, so you could tell him he is. Not for the likes of you, same folk. Mm, or same folk. Right. Are a hollow, posing as otherwise. Of course, baby. <laughs> yes, yes. Then we are just fine. It's important. Yeah, to you could just lie to him. I don't think he cares either way. But we'll all be mad soon enough. And should you be undead, well, all the more so. Hey, beware. The shackles of the gods are fragile. You this is a secret covenant that a lot of people do not on your find. Heart if you feel your sanity slipping, it's the Mound Maker's covenant. Come here to pile up a your hands, for that will form your anchor. You will see when you go mad. When you put this on and you either friend. invade people or you put down uh, your uh, summoning uh, sign to uh, help uh. people, uh, it will show you up as purple, and that means you're a mad you spirit. You'll go mad one day. But not today. Take my well, advice. We'll meet an NPC Use who's uh, who's in the Mound Maker's Covenant. This place. He's, he's decent. He's not that strong. This pit is for hollows and for the occasional madman fond of piling up thick things. Uh, and if you were to get yeah, invade people do, and they I'd award hope. you with shackles, if you're <laughs> with the Covenant, you could take them here to this and offer the sh uh, vertebrae shackles. But we don't have any, so go ahead and get out of here. Go to you know the bonfire the shrine that's rested at. Uh, I'm gonna go to the bonfire. I'm gonna go to the shrine. Okay, guys. Uh, once you spawn from the bar, once you spawn from the bonfire, come back to the giant tree where the guys are praying at. Kill them off if you want, or just walk past them, run past them, whatever. But we want to. You're a jerk. Oh my God. I can't believe I forgot this item. It's a shard. Yeah. But we want to go to the left and to this 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 person's house, whoever it is. Door is open, so I don't care. Help myself. There are some items here, but watch out these things come alive. We got resin, fire resin, so that helps. But right here, I don't know if you can see it. A little crack. Go and fall in it. Like a boss. Alright. Don't heal. Just let you know. Warrior of Sunlight. This is where the covenant is at that I love so much. The Warriors of Sunlight. Now I'm yellow. How'd you get down here? The reason I said don't heal is because there's a soup of uh, Estus. You know, just fill up your health completely. So if you want to waste a flask, go ahead. But if you listen to me, Hey, you got some health. Oh my god. There we go. Okay. Just for souls. There is a couple more of these guys that go alive. You can probably tell which ones come alive too. Because look. These are dark. And these guys are light. Run. Go. 
good. Can't compare you. Hey. hey. Sit down. Bundles. Okay. Yeah. See, these guys come alive. But so don't pay them no mind. They give you no souls and they're really weak. They're just annoying if you get hit. Because, you know, you get, you get like, kind of flinched. See? These messages are the ones I like. Thank you, bro. Although I knew this was here already. Uh, there's some people that like to help you, you know? They tell you where stuff's at, and then bam. You don't have to worry. You don't have to pull up IGN's Dark Souls walkthrough. Because you got people here that, that want to help. Most of the times. Most of the times. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I know if you see her over there, she's shooting spells at you. Oh, God. And all these guys are annoying. Ugh. In that spell, if you got hit already, you probably know what happens. But it inflicts bleeding on you. If that bleeding stacks, you take like a bunch of damage. And I got hit. But if it runs to a wall or something, it just explodes. So you take no damage. And it just goes away. But blood loss, man. That's no joke. Tiny shard. The blood loss in this game. No, that stuff hurts. It was worse than freaking. No, actually, it's pretty bad in this game. Once you get once you get worms on you, the maggots. Oh no, those things end your life quickly. I'm telling you, it's not even funny. Okay, good. Just what I wanted. Cause you can get get these items and then just go and plunger. together why did I try to pair your book what are you what are you my nanny stai Jesus Christ like, have you seen those nannies like in I'm guessing like England that carry the book around and they hit people like the children that don't pay attention not trying to be like, hey, they do that only in England. I'm just assuming. <laughs> I don't care about who invaded. Kill that. Kill this thing. No! <laughs> don't worry about that guy. For some reason, he's following me. Can you even fit up here? Oh, he can. These guys just carry giant machetes and they love to hit the ground. If you can just dodge them, they, they can't do anything. They just throw a tantrum. Look at all the knives I put into his body. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, I can already hear. I can already imagine the, z the sound effect. Deals world. Oh god, it's amazing. Okay. Oh yeah, but I forgot to mention. Uh, this video right now is currently being made. Uh, what's today? Tuesday the 18th. And it won't go up till tomorrow, the 19th. Because I can record, but I have no time for edits. And I have no time for anything. I still got to work on pre-calculus. Um work and corrections I have a bunch of stuff to do you can't parry no actually he's a parry god so you gotta be careful oh yeah I got filmmaking that I gotta continue to work on I'm gonna keep getting yelled at so I got a bunch of stuff on my plate but I'm gonna record uh, finish recording probably do another little thing because it's barely like 7.30, I think. Probably 7. I think it's 7 o'clock right now. 
I can't kill this guy. So I'll, let's see what I'll do. If I know for sure this is going up tomorrow. Yeah, this is Holy Knight Hendrick. See, purple, he's a mad spirit. Nope. Why do you hold your thing? You gonna drink your flask in front of me? And don't worry, this is not like an invader invader. Like some guy who's gonna like destroy your life. This guy's just an NPC. Oh, uh, he's gonna go again. Oh! Ah! <laughs> You can just stand in this healing that he puts up. Just heal yourself. You ain't gonna do nothing. You ain't gonna do nothing. Okay, this fight's taking too long. I might skip this thing. Psych! Never skip your fights. End it. Oh, what? How dare you? He's standing on a rock and didn't count it. This guy sucks, man. Oh, I'm just gonna kill you. You're really annoying. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Why I ran out of stamina? <laughs> the slow freaking timing of that, man. I'm just gonna chill. Because it took forever to kill you. That took a good, like, eight minutes. Why did it take so long? <laughs> oh my gosh. He kept putting down these healing spells. These heal up so much. I don't know why. Oh my gosh. That was ridiculous. <sighs> I don't even know what to say. I'm kind of disturbed right now. <laughs> oh gosh. Well, that was fun. Nice, short, and sweet. It should take probably two, maybe three parts to get this whole thing completed and sorted out. I'm not sure. Please bear with me. But as always, guys, hope y'all enjoyed. Thank y'all for watching. And I'll catch y'all later.